So now we're gonna uh, do our consultation exercise and I ask you all to take your mobile phones and use the code, uh, go to www.menti.com and use the code 2020 uh, Then our first question is about uh, the, uh, it's a ranking of the most important roles of your association. So please to menti.com. And then you can rank the first one is the most important, the second one is the second most important, the third one, so on. Uh, allow me to uh, allow me to come in here, Fernando. Just to yeah. just to explain to to the participants that that we split this uh, this question among the traditional roles of associations, information and advocacy, the support to members with uh, with with services and um, and and the awareness raising, which is the representation capacity. Um, it's it's uh, very very interesting that. Mm -hmm. Uh, information, providing information that has come up in every single presentation uh, is, is, is showing also the majority of, of the feedback that we are getting from the 30 participants that are um, uh, participating in this, uh, in this poll. And, and then, of course, the service provision, which I guess is adaptive service provision from what we have seen. So are you ready to go to the next question, uh, uh, Fernando? Sure. Well, uh, the next one is about how does the, the, the COVID affects the intergovernmental relations, if it affects negatively, positively, but does not affect at all. Well, there are more and more participants now uh, uh, responding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, wow, it's divided. Eh? I mean, yeah. what is what is clear is that it's it's never untouched that relationship, eh? uh, and 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 unfortunately, um, yeah, there are there are more positive uh, votes than than negative. But I, I think it is a reality that around the world there is a kind of lack of satisfaction from our membership, no matter big or small and global north or global south, about the role uh, that uh, local government associations and local governments are getting in this crisis. There is an insufficient recognition of the role that all the municipal services has in backing up the, the health services as well. Eh? And I think that reflects now in the in the in the participation of the 53 participants. Uh, so positive remains and, and, and that's very good. Uh, ready for the next question? Uh, yeah, the next one, uh, the, the next two ones are about more of the work of your organization. So if the COVID and the pandemics affect in somehow you know, the work, the usual work of your association. And now we are seeing that the well, great majority affects a yeah, lot. Yeah, clearly a lot. Eh? Yeah. And, and, and I think what we have been hearing uh, uh, from, uh, from the participants up, up until now, from the speakers, eh? from, from yeah. the speakers up until now, is well reflected in the rest of the participants. I mean, we, we, we all know that our work is affected now. I can speak as, as, as a global association, the work of uh, of United Cities and local governments is also affected uh, by, by the pandemic. And there will be ways in which it will be affected that we do not know yet, eh? like some of the participants were, were, were saying. Yeah. And is this and the, the final question, Fernando, the last yeah. question? Yeah, the last one is more specific about the, the importance of the international participation of your association in relation to the COVID and if the international participation is more important now uh, when we think about the COVID or not.
Yeah, and I think, yeah, it's very high too. Yeah, and I'm very happy to hear this. <laughs> this is data that we wanted to have in the World Secretariat. Yeah, thank you very much for this exercise, uh, Fernando, and the, and, thank you. The, and the learning and the learning team. Um, the, this exercise is very important for us because it helps us keep a pulse in, in, in what we are doing and, and it's part of the things that, that we keep to define uh, future sessions and, and, and priorities. So thank you very much for this uh, active participation.